I made a joke. But the clip itself made it look so dirty and scandalous. So I kind of flipped out and told him to take the clip down. And then um, he posted that funny clip that said three things I want in a man, um, which also could have looked a little scandalous. But anyways, it was fine. And I love him. And I think he's funny. And it was all good. So. Uh, you and I had on the same guest, Miss Courtney Tilia. She reads dicks on OnlyFans, which I love. That's right. Yeah. So there was nothing scandalous about it. It just seemed the way that the clip was done, big ho. And that just isn't it. So let me go comment on that. Now, uh, by the way, uh, since you happen to be calling in, uh, you know, you want, you always like to plug your podcast. Uh, you're, I got to go listen to it, actually. You did interview, uh, what the hell is going on with your friend Mike Shued from uh, Shaza's, Shaza's Sunset? Yeah, actually, I spoke to him last night about it. Um, Excuse me? Shocked about the allegations. He can't believe it. And, um, you know, he just can't believe. He said he left her alone, and he can't believe that she would be coming after him now. And so, listen, I haven't seen the video. I heard it was horrific. I, you know, um, I, I don't know the details. I will check it out today. But I know I know Mike is a person, not that it makes anything okay. And he is a, he is a good guy. And I, I on my podcast, he talks about the incident with Paulina. So I'm not, I'm not sure if this is the same night that that video was taken. I'm not sure. He told me that the charges were dropped on my podcast. So I don't know if this is a totally separate incident or what. And obviously, you know, it's something that people are going to find out about. But, um, you know. I think it's a whole new lawsuit. Like, I think she's now suing. I think that's what I think. I think the charges are one thing. I think this is a whole civil lawsuit now where she's suing him. Got it. Okay, yeah. So I don't know the details, but I do know that he's obviously upset. And he he wasn't denying it by any means, but he was just saying, I can't believe that she's trying to hurt me like this. I thought that we had gotten through this. So, um, again, I'm not making anything. Okay. Yeah. I just saw the pictures and I did, I can agree that they were horrible. Um, so we'll have to see what comes out of it. I'm not clear what she wants out of a lawsuit. If she wants money or if she wants to put it in jail or what? I think she wants money and I'm not saying I'm not justifying it either. I think she wants uh, money. I'm just telling you that, you know, sometimes, I, and this has happened to me, I have called the police. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I called the police on my ex-husband many years ago. You know, we're talking 10 years ago. Um, something happened, there was a physical altercation. I did call the police to de-escalate it. Once they came, of course, I was like, I don't want to press charges because I got nervous about getting him in trouble. Um, they chose to press charges regardless because once they're involved and it's domestic violence they can decide if they want to move forward with it so i want i mean you know i know it's a different situation because she's filed a lawsuit so she had to take action to do that but i don't know it is all a little suspect because you know if you're filing a lawsuit uh those images they don't just show up on page six someone has to call page six and give them uh, yeah and listen i'm not justifying it either do i think this probably happened i do i think it's I, I i haven't seen a video i have an issue with pictures in the sense that you those pictures to me aren't as shocking as everyone else is claiming if that was in a video though i yeah it's horrible i just think pictures could be a lot of different things um <laughs> I, I posted a picture, this is totally different, of me standing in a handstand. I can't tell you how many comments I get from people being like, holy shit, you're so fit. How do you hold a handstand like that? I held a handstand for not even a second, and I fell down on my face, almost broke my neck. But it looks so hot because the picture is taken. I think face. I've seen it before. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to explain. Everything is smoke and mirrors if it's a picture. You have just no idea. So, again, I'm not saying that... What happened didn't happen. I'm just saying we, you know, it's you know, I like Mike. I want the best for him. I mean, listen, and you do like Mike. Too, but well, I told get this. I I told this story before, but I mean, it is a true story. Like I had Paulina on my podcast way back in the day, way back. I don't know if I ever told you this, and 
we were, rec- this was like when I first started, like, and we were recording and then off camera, someone started screaming and it was Mike in not in English. So I did not understand the words, but he was like screaming. It was clearly Mike. And then she looked completely horrified and she said, I am so sorry. Can I get back to you? It's like, okay, it's like a live interview, girl. She's like, I have to go. And she slammed the Zoom down. And then I was like, okay, well, I just wasted like 15 minutes of my life. And then she texted it. She's like, can we get back on the Zoom? And she was like in a different outfit. And she was just like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, I mean, this, I was earlier on in my career that I was like, I'm not asking about this, but I mean, and I'm not making smoke. This is like a real thing that happened. I probably have the audio somewhere. He went off on her and she had to like go and then come back and like would not discuss it. Okay. That's That's terrible. Terrible. Yeah. And I was like, is everything okay? But then I dropped it. Cause I'm like, you know, I was in my first year and I wasn't as rebellious, rebellious as I am now. So that's all. But wow, you got an interesting story here. I'm calling in Rachel. You could tell. Yeah, and I'm giving it all to you instead of putting it on my podcast. Um, I've had a very eventful morning. I booked Gertie from Real Housewives of Miami, and I booked Spencer Pratt. So I'm very excited. You got to get me on. You got to get them for me. I've had Gertie on. Yeah, no, I'm very excited. Have you had her on since her cancer? I have not, but I would, and I would also have on Spencer Pratt. You're going to book them for me, and we'll figure it out after. It's very funny why I booked him. Somebody wrote me last night and said, "Um, just so you know, Spencer Pratt was talking about you on the Howie Mandel show. I'm like, what? How did my name get brought up? So she's like, I didn't know that you dated David Foster. And I'm like, "Uh uh-oh. David Foster? You mean Yolanda's? Yes. I'm not going to get into the details any further because I'm having Spencer Pratt on to tell his story about me and David Foster. You dated David Foster, Catherine McPhee's husband? I'm leaving this open-ended so I can uh, so I can have the conversation with Spencer. But that is oh my gosh. what Spencer revealed on his episode with Howie Mandel. Oh, this is an interesting story. Well, you could have been you, you could have been Yolanda Hadid, and then you would have been on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I've missed so many opportunities. What are you doing with your life? Um, All right, let me focus on your new life plan when I get off because that's a big missed opportunity there, my dear. Yeah, all right. All right, pick up and I have to talk to you about a whole bunch of other things. Bye. All right, bye. I mean, you think, hopefully everyone could hear that. I turned it up. Uh, what, what's going on? She calls in, she talked to Mike last night and she dated David Foster? You fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Well, there you go. She dated David Foster. She almost was a real housewife of New York instead of Leah. But uh, the Mike thing is interesting. Um, do I think Mike did this? Do I think it's all real? 